So a few weeks back, I posted some pictures of our showroom and all anybody asked about was this beautiful 93 Mustang GT behind me. Now to answer the question everybody asked, no, it is not for sale, but the owner is here today and he's gonna tell us all about it. So I'm here with Greg, who was the owner of this car. When I posted pictures, what everybody asked about was, is this car original? I mean, it's beautiful, it's all stock. It looks like it just rolled off the assembly line. And in person, it does as well. But this car's got a story, right? Like, it's not original. It's definitely got, it's been driven. Tell us about this car. What's the story behind this 93? Well, unfortunately, I acquired the car due to a result of my brother's passing in 2014. He, uh, he owned the car from almost new, and it was his everyday driver, all four seasons. It was in pretty rough shape when he died, and, I, and he always had aspirations of restoring the car. Okay. And I just thought it would be fitting to, uh, in his memory, you know, fulfill his dream and, uh, and restore the car. And like you had said, when you got this car, it was his year-round daily driver. How many miles were on it? Do you even remember? Well, these odometers only have five digits. And I'm assuming it's rolled. I don't know if it was rolled twice or once. <laughs> okay. So it's either... 150 to 250, probably yes. in that neighborhood. Yep. Okay. So like I said, it didn't look like this. So what, was it modified? I mean, did he do any, I mean, everybody with a box body he back had, in the day, bolt on. He had a lot of bolt on um, modifications, nothing real drastic, no motor work or anything like, like I said, mostly bolt on things. Okay. And, cold uh, air kit, exhaust, springs, all kit. that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, he had some lowering springs and, uh, underdrive pulleys and uh, you know nothing real radical but he mainly drove it it was it was his baby and it was it was the car you said that everybody knew him it, yeah yeah he had it and like I said he drove it and and he, he didn't own a garage and uh, so it spent its whole life outside and it was pretty rough when I got it now one of the things that people talked about when I posted pictures of this was the level of detail. I mean, it looks like it's showroom correct. I mean, you have the wiper cover. Nobody has that. You have all the decals that are right. But you said it was a highly modified car. And what is your background? I mean, you did this all yourself in the garage. Well, I'm, I'm an industrial mechanic by trade. Okay. And I've always tinkered around cars and I've restored cars in the past. But, okay. Um, nothing to this extreme. Uh, I stripped the whole car. I, I had the motor done by an outside individual. Okay. But I tore everything out. And when he went to restore the motor, he said this car was not not uh, abused at all. He said uh, he said when you order your stuff for it, he said order the stock stock bore rings. So it was that you. the block was that clean. It was that, that it clean. just didn't need anything like that, which is amazing. It, was, it is garage. amazing, and uh, the paint. I had a, a friend that I had spray, and uh, fortunately, I have a garage. I have a lift and everything. Okay, so, so you had the tools uh, home, and some so. background, but you're not like a Fox Body guy. This is the first time you did something like this. I particularly <laughs> never cared for Fox Bodies myself. <laughs> okay. um, Fair but enough. They, they, Fair grew, enough. they grew on me, and they, they're growing on me. All, a lot of older cars are that way with me. Yep, yep. Um, but uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think he would be happy with the way I can't imagine he wouldn't be. The car is absolutely beautiful. The thing that's amazing with this car to me is that you look at this car, I mean, the owner told me it was here, and he's like, you gotta check out this 93. I mean, I came in, I was like, wow, this thing, it, it looks like a nice stock original car. But like you said, this car's a lot of aftermarket stuff on it, right? I think the fenders have been replaced. You said the bumpers have been replaced. Yeah, I, um, I tried to salvage all the original parts that I could, and fortunately, my brother, he kept most of the original things, and a lot of those I could reuse. The front bumper's original, the door's original, quarters, everything's original, with an exception of the rear bumper cover, <clears throat> excuse me, and the, the fenders, two front fenders, yeah. yeah. Now, the other part that amazed me with the car is the interior. I mean, everybody loves Fox Bodies, loves black interior. You said the seats are original? They're original. And they're not reupholstered or anything. Which is, that is the way. Amazing. Because as soon as I pop the door, I'm like, okay, because the yeah, aftermarket upholstery is nice, but if you know what to look for, you can tell. And I said, I'm like, this is stock upholstery. There's no way this car, there's no way those seats have 150,000 miles on, but you're saying that they do. They were in the car when you got it. Right. Well, my brother was never married, no children. So, so the other seats were probably 99% <laughs> of the time, he was the only one in the car. And uh, he just took care of it. And uh, I mean, he did. There's literally that driver's seat looks new. There's no wear on that at all. That and and uh, the interior 
you know, compared to the exterior, the interior is pretty protected from the elements. Uh, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, so, Still amazing, you know. I mean, it, I mean it's amazing to, it held up that way. I had to clean it up a little bit, and I, of course, I, I had the whole interior stripped out to restore the car. But uh, yeah, that I didn't have to buy too many pieces of the interior wow, to, to complete it. So moving forward with the car, I mean, you've had it. You said, I guess, since you've had it for since 2014, so you've had it around six years now. What is what are your future plans? I mean, are you, you going to show it? Are you going to do anything with it? Are you going to ever modify it? Uh, I'm, you put a lot of effort into keeping it looking all original, so I wouldn't think you'd want to, but I'm just curious. I've discussed this with the wife, and she said no way. <laughs> I I don't really have a place to store it at my house. Okay. And I'd like to see it kept in a climate control environment. Like here. You know? <laughs> like here, and I know this, it can't stay here indefinitely. So. It's a material thing, so unfortunately, I have to disclose that, you know, the right amount. Anything materials for sale was always my mind. Understood, understood. But uh, and I'm in the same boat. I've had sentimental cars, it's, and it's sometimes sentimental, it's time. And I it understand. would probably make a full-grown man cry if I had to. But like I said, if I can't keep it here and I, I can't have it at home safe, where it's not going to get messed up again. I'd rather see someone else enjoy it. So I'm going to tell you right now, the comments are going to fill up with offers. So <laughs> <laughs> I will definitely keep you. Again, Greg, thank you for coming. Sure. Thank you for sharing the story. And sure. again, beautiful work, man. Thank you. You, you did Appreciate an awesome, it. awesome job on this car. We're, we're lucky to have it here in our showroom. Thank you very much.